Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a weekly planner in Canva. The first thing you want to do after creating your Canva account, which is completely free, you are going to go over to the top right hand corner and right where you see create a design, you are going to tap right there. After tapping on create a design, in the search box, I want you to type in planner then from there, you can see two different sizes. You have the 8.5 8 by 11 inches, and you also have the 21 by 29.7 centimeters right here. So you can decide whichever size you would like to use. For this example, I will be using the 8.5 by 11 inches, as this is the more popular option. After doing that, you can see on the left-hand corner right here, different templates that you can choose from. So you could hover over these templates with your mouse and you can see if you like any one of these templates. Or you can simply tap on weekly planner right here. After tapping on weekly planner, you can also see different templates that you can use. So you can scroll down and you can select any one of these templates to your liking. The first thing we'll be doing is creating our planner cover. Now to create the planner cover is quite straightforward. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. From there you could select text. After selecting text you can select any one of the text styles that you would like to use. So let's say for example this one we'll tap on this text style. After doing that you can tap right here and you can name your planner or you could simply type in weekly planner. Let's do that real quick. Just for example sake, after typing in weekly planner, you can adjust the text and you can also change the font style by selecting the entire text box. Then from there, you could tap right where you see copper plate on my screen. After tapping on copper plate, you can scroll down and you could select any one of these text styles that you would like to use. So you can see it right there. So let's say for example, I wanted to use this text style. I could use it and I can pull it to the top right there. And if I wanted to change the font color, you could tap right where you see the capital A on my screen to do that. After you have done that, if you would like to add an image, you could tap on uploads. And from there, you could upload an image or you can tap on elements right here. And let's say for example, I would like to add a focus picture. So let's say focus and I'll tap on that and I'll see the different images that they have. And from here you could tap on either graphics or you can use photos if you want. And you can see the different options that you can choose from. So you can select any one of these options and keep in mind that all of these are copyright free so you can select whether you'd like to use photos or graphics as you can see right here so let's say for example I would like to use this one I can simply drag and place it right there and if it is a case that you like to change the background color you could do that by simply tapping to select the entire canvas then you'll tap on the color box in the top left hand corner and if you like to change the background color so let's say for example gray you can do that or if you like to change it to black you can see right there how it looks after you have done that you're going to tap on add page once you have tapped on add page from here you can change back the color to white then you could go over to the left hand menu option and you can tap on design after tapping on design we can now choose to add one of these templates so let's say, for example, I would like to use this particular template. I could simply tap on it, then tap on apply both pages. After tapping on apply both pages, you can see right there. So I'll apply this option right there. After applying that option, I'll tap on add page and I'm going to add this page once more. After doing that, what I would recommend you do right where you see page three of three, Along this slider, you're going to simply pull it to the right to increase the zoom. Now that you have increased the zoom, you can see how it looks right there. And you can make any changes you want. 
So for example, if you would like to change the text, you can tap on the text box and from there you can make changes as you can see right there. If you would like to change the font style, you can do that. If you would like to change the font size, you can do that. And if you would like to change the background color, you can simply tap to select the canvas, then tap on the color box in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you can select the color that you want to use so you can play around with the different colors and see how they look as you can see right here until you have found one to your liking as you can see right there. It is completely up to you. You can play around with it and you can see the different colors. After doing that, you can scroll down and if it is a case that you would like to, for example, add a small flower or something to it, you can tap on elements from the top left hand corner. After tapping on elements, let's say I would like to add a small flower around the bordering. I could simply type in flower right here or you could type in bird. So let's say for example, I were to type in flowers. After doing that, I can select graphics. Once I have selected graphics, let's say for example, I would like to add this flower. All I would need to do is simply pull and place it. Then from there, you can adjust the size. So you can see right there and you can also add it to different sections. After you're finished doing this, all you'll need to do now, you could tap on share in the top right hand corner. Tap on share from here, you will see the option template link. You could tap right there. After you have tapped on template link, you'll tap on create template link. Then you can see right there, link copied to keyboard. After you have copied this link, as you can see right here, after you have copied the link, all you'll need to do now, for example sake, I would tap on add page, then I'll go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text, then you can select any text box, then from here you could simply type in, click here, then you'll select the entire text box, then tap on the link icon, after you have tapped on the link icon, you would paste the template link right here. After pasting the template link, you will simply tap on done. So now for example sake, if we were to tap on share in the top right hand corner, scroll down, then tap on download page 4, which is the page with the link, as you can see right here. Then you will tap on done, then tap on download. Once it has been downloaded, all you'll need to do is simply tap on it. Then for example, you can see the page right here. So all they'll need to do is tap on click here and they'll be redirected to the weekly planner as you can see right here. So this is a template created by Jason Tutorials and was shared with you start designing now. So the person could scroll down then tap on edit template. So they'll be able to do this even if they don't have a Canva account. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.